Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a series of answers to some of the most common questions I've got about Windows 10 and Windows 11 mixed in um, and this is of course uh, something that uh, I do regularly so you know, a lot of people ask questions uh, sometimes I answer in the comments but I often like to do these videos that will explain because a lot of the questions I get a lot of times and there's some of these questions are good and I know that a lot of people are asking themselves the same thing. So the questions for today, the first one is about um, the yearly update to Windows 10. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me what exactly will that be? Is it going to be like a really big update that's going to take a lot of time? Uh, we don't really know at this point, but we I don't think that this is going to be really big updates. I think Windows 11 is going to have the really big updates. Windows 10 is going to have a uh, once a year update that will be a cumulative update for uh, its system to update, you know, kind of a service pack thing. I don't think it's going to be like really big new feature updates. The uh, other question, one of them is about the last version of Windows 10 21 H2. A lot of people are like, well, you know, um, a useless update or, um, you know, there's nothing in there. I don't know why they update. Well, they update the core. So there are stuff in there that are updated, including, like I said, the WPA3 um, update for security, for Wi-Fi, stuff like that. So there definitely are some stuff, but it's they're not front-facing features. And I don't expect the future to have much front-facing features, honestly, in Windows 10. I think Microsoft will focus on Windows 11 a lot more. Uh, one that has to do with Windows 11, uh, people find that why is it that the news and interest panel that I have in Windows 10 is gone in Windows 11? Is there a way to bring it back? Well, the news and interest panel in Windows 11 is in what is the um, panel for the um, widgets. So that's where they've moved the stuff for uh, the uh, news and interest. So if you open the widgets, you can customize it and you'll see that there's uh, one of the, the uh, uh, one of the widgets that you can actually get and that I believe it's already pre-installed anyways at start is the it kind of looks like the news and interest. You'll have the weather, you'll have the news, stuff like that. Some people seem to be enjoying the, the, the uh, the update here, um, you know, it's um, it's uh, not something I use a lot. I actually like just the fact that there's the weather and the taskbar. That's pretty much the only use I have for it. But in Windows 11, yeah, you'll get it in widgets. You have to open the widgets panel and uh, customize it to your liking. That's where the news and interest has been moved. So it's not in the taskbar anymore. Um, another question about Windows 10 is, so we get an update a year, we still get, uh, and, and people are kind of worried. Uh, they're all like, well, are we really getting, you know, uh, security updates and all of that? Yes, absolutely. Until 2025, October 14th, 2025 is the end of Windows 10. So you get four years of updates. The, um, the security updates and bug fixing updates monthly are still there and that's still going to happen with all of these, uh, with, with Windows 10 versions. You'll have to follow the updates. That means that, um, you know, a one update a year. And they did say 18 month cycle on the most of them. So it's like, that means you'll have to have, uh, you know, the latest updates when, if you want to continue having support. If support ends, it's because you're just not up to date. For example, in a month's time, version 2004 is end of support. No more security updates after that. It's not because it stopped for Windows 10. It's just because you need to update yourself to the latest version. Um, and that's it. Um, some people, I got a few questions about people stuck in older versions than um, version 2004, like 1909, for example. And they've never been able to update to anything else. It's extremely important if you're stuck on an old version before version 2004 to update to something recent because you're not getting support and security updates. 
that means you're at risk and getting more and more risky as time goes by with each patch Tuesday updates. So it's important to know that. Uh, one question that popped up from someone that has a compatible machine with Windows 11, but has been running Windows 7 still. Um, and that person has been running Windows 7 with the security updates for the extended uh, Windows 7 updates. So he is uh, safe because of that. He's got these enterprise updates. And he was wondering if uh, the loophole for free update to Windows 10 still worked. Um, as long as you have a key, a Windows 7 product key, uh, the loophole is still open. You can still go from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And if your machine is compatible, you will be able also to move from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Uh, that's going to work. So your Windows 11 update is still going to be free because you updated Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free. Uh, so that's going to work. Um, a lot of questions about, you know, how long is the free upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 going to uh, be? Is it going to stop at some point? Are we going to be charged at some point? It's it's free. They, they, they just said it that if your machine is compatible and you can update to Windows 11, uh, and you're on Windows 10, you have a free ride to Windows 11. It's automatic. It's free. It stays free and will stay free. And once again, no annual uh, you know, fees. It, this comes back all the time. It was there in Windows 10 when it started. Everybody said, well, free for the first year, then we're going to have a, you know, a yearly uh, or a monthly fee. Or No, there's no fee in Windows. It's the, you got it, you got it, and that's it. Um, apart from that, of course, people are wondering, if I move to Windows 11, don't like it, can I roll back? Yes, but you have 10 days. Remember that when you roll to a new system, and you'll do so with Windows Update for the most part, or if you do it with some other means of updating, uh, like with the website for Windows 11 and click the, uh, the update, uh, what's going to happen is that as long as you update from Windows 10 to Windows 11, in the uh, update and security, uh, even Windows 11 has recovery. In the recovery, you have go back to the previous version. Uh, that will still be there. It's 10 days. It's extremely important to note that it's 10 days, and that goes by real fast. If you don't do it within 10 days, you're stuck. Uh, some people say that they move to Windows 11. There's a lot of space taken off their hard drive. Uh, one of the things you should do is use a file explorer and go check on your C drive for a, uh, a folder that could be called um, Windows Old. Uh, some, for some reason, some um, people move on to Windows um, and 11 and um, the, the, the old stuff is still stuck and you have a windows.old folder that appears when that happens. That windows.old might actually still contain all of your data. So you have kind of a double of the data. You have it in your main folders, but you have it in that folder also. That means you got two times more s stuff on your hard drive. Once you've updated and you know that you're okay in Windows 11, you can delete what's in Windows.old. It'll be okay. Uh, this is really in case you roll back. Windows.old is really the rollback option. If you roll back, it'll going to check what's in here and put everything back in uh, the um, uh, where it actually goes. But uh, for some of you that might have smaller SSD drives, for example, it could be a problem, and so just check for the windows.old folder, and that'll be okay. So these were the questions and answers for today. If you have questions, you can ask them in the um, description below, in the uh, comments below. And uh, from time to time, I make these videos explaining some of the stuff that people want to learn about Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.